Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 19, Disable a Button. I'm going to give you the layout. I have three layers. The bottom layer has a ball. There it is, the ball. And that ball is a movie clip. If I open the library, it's a movie clip. I'll open it up and show you what that is. I have a ball on that layer, and that ball has got a motion tween, as you can see. And it also has a action script layer, and the action script layer is has the contents of stop. So when the movie is run and tested, the ball does not move until it's told to move. Back on scene one, I have a layer that says go button, G-O-B-T-N. On that frame, first frame, I have this button. It's a button symbol and it's called go underscore BTN. Needs an instance name, as does if I look at the ball. The ball here has an instance name, B-A-L-O underscore M-C. So both of them are recognized on this scene one. And I have some action script. And the action script is a event listener based on the go button, go button underscore BTN period at event listener that's all blue capital E capital L small a open bracket most event capital M capital E period C L I C K all them words are capitalized that's all blue comma and I'm calling it start S T A R T close bracket semicolon and this is calling that function function turns purple start S T A R T the same word is up here open bracket event e v e n t colon mouse event same mouse event is up there close bracket colon void there's the open curly bracket for the function the close curly bracket and i'm saying ball movie clip capital b a l l underscore m c period go to and play frame two and that will allow the ball to start to move now that's pretty simple we've done that many times but the problem is, I click the button. If I click it again, it starts over. This request says, how can I disable that button so this doesn't happen? I have a few ways of doing that. And I'm going to try to get them in one video. But if it's more than 10 or 15 minutes, I'm going to make two. I'm going to start by locking all my layers. Select the Go button layer. Insert a layer and call it fake F A K E B T N fake button insert a blank keyframe on frame 2 lock that fake button layer go back to the go button layer unlock it select frame 1 and highlight this button right click copy it lock that layer unlock the fake button layer select frame 2 come down here right click paste in place and up here make sure it has a different instance name so I'm going to call this go fake f a k e let's go back to our action code open the actions panel and now when we press that go button I want to do something I want to go to, oops, G-O-T-O, -O, capital A-N-D, S-T-O-P, go to and stop, capital S, go to and stop, open bracket, two, close bracket, semicolon. So now, when we press that go button, two things are going to happen going to start that ball moving and I'm going to jump to frame 2. If I'm going to jump to frame 2 I want to make sure the ball is there so on this ball layer right click insert a keyframe and there's the balls. Go back to the action script layer 
select the actions panel and right here enter a line and put a stop stop open close brackets semicolon let's give it a try no errors I press the button it moves and I can press it and it only happens once but now I'm sure the person wants to be able to do it again so we got to be able to do it again but if that's if that's all you want it to take place that would be the end of this 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 video because it can't click twice let's lock all the layers let's open this ball layer again and lock it and let's select that third frame and insert a keyframe so now we have the ball all the way up to there open the library panel open the ball movie clip and go to the very last frame of the actions layer insert blank keyframe open the actions panel and type 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 this code movie clip open bracket parent close bracket that says the main timeline period go to and stop open bracket three close bracket semicolon so now when the ball reaches here it'll go back there to frame three go back to scene one select frame three of the actions layer insert a blank keyframe select frame one of the actions layer open the actions panel copy all this right click copy it go back to the frame three of the actions panel open it up paste that in there and this line here go make it go fake f a k e and this will be start two and this would be start two go back to the main timeline and right here right on the fake button layer insert a keyframe click just get on that when you get that fuzzy rectangle click and drag that down there go up here right click remove this frame and clear this middle frame on this go button line clear it now let's test this out click 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 and it just goes once and that works quite well I'm going to show you the second way of doing this maybe it's simpler so I want to get it back where it was I'm going to highlight all these frames right click and remove all these frames remove this fake button layer delete that and if I look at the actions panel we didn't have that stop so if I look in here yes this is what we had when we started the the video I'm going to test it make sure and the problem again if I click it it starts over let's start by bringing the ball up to the second frame so insert a keyframe let's insert a keyframe on the on the actions layer insert keyframe open frame one of the actions panel and let's put that stop back I'm doing an enter doing two enters then I'm going to write stop s t o p open close bracket semicolon back to the main timeline I also want to bring the button up so insert a keyframe on the button select the second frame of the actions layer open the actions panel and type in this code type 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 stop stop open close bracket semicolon and here is the line of code that will, will remove that buttons function go 
underscore btn, that's the button period, remove event listener. Instead of add an event listener, we're removing an event listener. Open bracket, the most event, M-O-U-S-E, E-V-E-N-T, capital M, capital E, period, click, comma, remember that all turns blue, comma, start. That was the name of the function on the first frame, S-T-A-R-T, capital S, close bracket, semicolon. Let's look at the movie clip ball. And if we look at this last frame, we had this, we put this in, but we want to go back to frame one. Uh, this was not there in your very original, but we put this on in the first method, and we went back to frame three, but now we're going to go to back to frame one. So let's test this. Test movie, test. No errors. I click it, it goes. I can click, 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 nothing happens. Click, click, click. Much simpler. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learn.